Dredging at the port of Port of Spain of the ferry terminal has begun, and this process is expected to increase the depth of the water from 6 meters to 8 meters. The $60 million project is scheduled to be completed at the end of the month. The purpose of the dredging is to allow the Cabo Star to be able to dock at the ferry terminal and set off on the cruise ship side of the port. Ian Wason explains. The dredging was long overdue. The Cabo Star currently operates from the cruise ship side of the port because the harbor at the terminal side is not deep enough. Removing the silt and other debris from the water will allow the Cabo Star to be able to dock there. What this will allow us to do now is to streamline the port to have the cargo, the uh, Tobago cargo vessel operate where it's supposed to be operating. Apart from the Cabo Star, Mr. Sinanon said the extra depth will also allow more vessels from CARICOM countries to dock into the port of Spain. What you saw when we went out to get boats to come into work in Trinidad, our depth just couldn't handle the draft of the vessels. Now we have an 8 meter draft coming in here. So what we can do is to remove the, the Cabo Star or any of the vessels with that sort of draft from where we have them docked now up at the cruise ship terminal, bring them down here. The media was given a brief demonstration of the desilting process, which involves the extraction of debris and silt under the water to create the required depth. The dredging work is expected to be completed by the end of January. Ian Wason, TTT News. Chairman of the Port Authority, Lyle Alexander, says the port intends to upkeep maintenance of the Tobago ferries. He says having three boats at the port's disposal will make it easier to take one off the system. Ian Wason again has more. Admitting the port of Port of Spain has come a long way, Chairman Lyle Alexander is confident they are on the right track. Currently, there are three boats on the sea bridge and this allows the port to maintain a strict maintenance schedule. So we are trying to be very strict with that and ensure that when they are supposed to be on maintenance, they are on maintenance. One of the boats is expected to be taken off service between January 24th and February 4th, but Mr. Alexander said that should not negatively affect the service. We know that the JDLV that has been here and operating very well will be taken off the schedule on the 24th of January to return on the 4th of February for, again, for maintenance. Mr. Alexander said the opening of the cruise ship season also interrupts the operations of the Cabo Star, another reason to have the vessel accommodated at the ferry terminal. And the chairman gave an update on the two new ferries expected to arrive from Australia soon. The things are going pretty well as expected with the, the new builds. The details of that I am unable to speak about because that is that the procurement process is being handled by NITCO at the moment. Mr. Alexander said NITCO is undertaking arrangements for the sale of the TT Express and a buyer is to be identified in the near future. Ian Wason, TTT News.